Welcome to Morning Prayer for Wednesday of the 13th week in Ordinary Time and the Feast of St. Thomas, Apostle. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Lord, open my lips and my mouth will proclaim your praise. Come, let us worship the Lord, the King of Apostles. O God, be gracious and bless us, and let your face shed its light upon us. So will your ways be known upon earth, and all nations learn your saving help. Let the peoples praise you, O God, let all the peoples praise you. Let the nations be glad and exult, for you rule the world with justice. With fairness you rule the peoples, you guide the nations on earth. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. The earth has yielded its fruit, for God, our God, has blessed us. May God still give us his blessing till the ends of the earth revere him. Come, let us worship the Lord, the King of Apostles. Lord, we do not know where you are going. How can we know the way? Jesus replied, I am the way, the truth, and the life. O God, you are my God, for you I long. For you my soul is thirsting. My body pines for you like a dry, weary land without water. So I gaze on you in the sanctuary to see your strength and your glory. For your love is better than life. My lips will speak your praise, so I will bless you all my life. In your name I will lift up my hands. My soul shall be filled as with a banquet. My mouth shall praise you with joy. On my bed I remember you. On you I muse through the night, for you have been my help. In the shadow of your wings I rejoice. My soul clings to you. Your right hand holds me fast. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Father, creator of unfailing light, give that same light to those who call to you. May our lips praise you, our lives proclaim your goodness, our works give you honor, and our voices celebrate you forever. Lord, we do not know where you are going. How can we know the way? Jesus replied, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Thomas, who was called the twin, was not present when Jesus appeared to the apostles, so they told him, We have seen the Lord. Alleluia. Bless the Lord, all you works of the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Angels of the Lord, bless the Lord. You heavens, bless the Lord. All you waters above the heavens, bless the Lord. All you hosts of the Lord, bless the Lord. Sun and moon, bless the Lord. Stars of heaven, bless the Lord. Every shower and dew, bless the Lord. All you winds, bless the Lord. Fire and heat, bless the Lord. Cold and chill, bless the Lord. Dew and rain, bless the Lord. Frost and chill, bless the Lord. Ice and snow, bless the Lord. Nights and days, bless the Lord. Light and darkness, bless the Lord. Lightnings and clouds, bless the Lord. 
Let the earth bless the Lord. Praise and exalt Him above all forever. Mountains and hills bless the Lord. Everything growing from the earth bless the Lord. You springs bless the Lord. Seas and rivers bless the Lord. You dolphins and all water creatures bless the Lord. All you birds of the air bless the Lord. All you beasts, wild and tame, bless the Lord. You sons of men, bless the Lord. O Israel, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt Him above all forever. Priests of the Lord, bless the Lord. Servants of the Lord, bless the Lord. Spirits and souls of the just, bless the Lord. Holy men of humble heart, bless the Lord. Hananiah, Azariah, Mishael, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt Him above all forever. Let us bless the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Let us praise and exalt Him above all forever. Blessed are you, Lord, in the firmament of heaven, praiseworthy and glorious and exalted above all forever. Thomas, who was called the twin, was not present when Jesus appeared to the apostles. So they told him, We have seen the Lord. Alleluia. With your hand, touch the mark of the nails. Doubt no longer, but believe. Alleluia. Sing a new song to the Lord, His praise in the assembly of the faithful. Let Israel rejoice in its Maker. Let Zion's sons exult in their King. Let them praise His name with dancing and make music with timbrel and harp. For the Lord takes delight in His people. He crowns the poor with salvation. Let the faithful rejoice in their glory, shout for joy, and take their rest. Let the praise of God be on their lips, and a two-edged sword in their hand, to deal out vengeance to the nations, and punishment on all the peoples, to bind their kings in chains, and their nobles in fetters of iron, to carry out the sentence preordained. This honor is for all his faithful. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Let Israel rejoice in you, Lord, and acknowledge you as Creator and Redeemer. We put our trust in your faithfulness, and proclaim the wonderful truths of salvation. May your loving kindness embrace us now and forever. With your hand, Touch the mark of the nails. Doubt no longer, but believe. Alleluia. You are strangers and aliens no longer. No, you are fellow citizens of the saints and members of the household of God. You form a building which rises on the foundation of the apostles and prophets, with Christ Jesus himself as the capstone. Through him, the whole structure is fitted together and takes shape as a holy temple in the Lord. In him, you are being built into this temple to become a dwelling place for God in the Spirit. Because you have seen me, Thomas, you have believed. Blessed are they who have not seen me and yet believe. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, 
He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Because you have seen me, Thomas, you have believed. Blessed are they who have not seen me and yet believe. Beloved friends, we have inherited heaven along with the apostles. Let us give thanks to the Father for all his gifts. The company of apostles praises you, O Lord. Praise be to you, Lord, for the banquet of Christ's body and blood given us through the apostles, which refreshes us and gives us life. Praise be to you, Lord, for the feast of your word prepared for us by the apostles, giving us light and joy. Praise be to you, Lord, for your holy church, founded on the apostles, where we are gathered together into your community. Praise be to you, Lord, for the cleansing power of baptism and penance that you have entrusted to your apostles, through which we are cleansed of our sins. The company of apostles praises you, O Lord. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Almighty Father, as we honor Thomas the Apostle, let us always experience the help of his prayers. May we have eternal life by believing in Jesus, whom Thomas acknowledged as Lord, for he lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. This has been Morning Prayer for Wednesday of the 13th week in Ordinary Time and the Feast of St. Thomas, Apostle. Morning Prayer is produced in Dallas, Texas and brought to you by the Confraternity of Penitence. Sacred music is provided by the Benedictines of Mary, Matthew Curtis, composer Kevin Allen, and the chant ensemble, Solentes. I'm David Rollins. Join us again weekdays as we continue to pray the unceasing and universal prayer of the whole people of God, the Liturgy of the Hours. <laughs>